Now we have an object of mass M1 is placed on one end close to the pivot. So here we have M1. And another object of mass M2 is placed on the other end. At a certain instant, the system is rotating. This, this is, I could be just stuck to it. Okay, you could like fix it to it, or you could just draw it this way. So this is M1. This is M2. So they are stuck to the rod. Now the rod rotates in a vertical plane. About so this example goes up. It rotates, but this remains fixed. And this one. So this one rotates this way. This one rotates that way. So the rod is rotating in a vertical plane. And at some instant, it has an angular speed omega. What is the angular momentum of the system at that instant, of course, when it has the angular speed omega? The, for rotation, the angular momentum about the axis of rotation or about this point here, let's say. About this point, the angular momentum is, if this is the xy plane, then it's in the z direction, the angular momentum, if this is the xy plane. Because r and v are both in the xy plane. So when I take r cross mv, it will be in the direction perpendicular to the xy plane. That is, it will be in the z direction. So L, the angular momentum, is in the z direction. Its magnitude is given by I omega, where I is a moment of inertia. The moment of inertia that we have here about this point, the point about which the rotation takes place, the moment of inertia I, I get M1, R1 squared, plus M2, R2 squared, plus the moment of inertia of the rod. Now, M1 is M1, R1 squared, R1 is L over 4. M2 and R2 is 3L over 4 squared, plus the I mean, this is not um, I, moment of inertia of the rod, I. I for the rod is what? Now, if, it, if about the center of mass, the moment of inertia about the center of mass is 1 over 12 ml square. But I want the moment of inertia about this axis, about a point here. This, so I have, if I take this axis through the center of mass, we know what it is, m l squared over 12. But I want it about this axis. So by the parallel axis theorem, I should add also m d squared, where d is l over 4. So plus m d squared, where d is l over 4. So this is M1 L square over 16 plus 9 M2 L square over 16. And ICM is M L square over 12. And MD square is M. D is L over 4, so that's L square over 16. So this is I, and L is just I only. So given M and L, of course, and omega, we have an expression for L. Again, because this is rotating in the xy plane, see here, if rotation in the xy plane, then the angular momentum 
is in the plus z direction. But this is its magnitude. 